All right, guys, one more pattern for this week. Pattern-collections.com is where you want to go to find today's pattern. You go down to Pattern Focus. Click on today's pattern, which is Shanzi. Ooh, it's an organic one. Okay, cool. Okay, so it looks like step one. We are going to do a little circle in the middle and then run sort of a organic s shapey thing out of it top to bottom and then we're going to echo that and connect it so it's sort of this wormy shape and then we're going to do that again coming out and another wormy shape coming back, right? No. No. No, we're going to come out like that and out like that. And then a one here and a one there. I think. Ah, oh, lost my spot. Okay. And then we're going to come out and out. And we're going to do little lines in that wormy bit there. Okay, I'm going to do this in a different order because that's going to confuse me. I'm going to draw this wormy and this wormy and do a couple of wormies around the outside and then I'll do this bit here and then some uh, like bubbles. And the finishing one is to look something like that. That's, that's our goal there. So let me zoom out. Let me look at this closer. I'm going to grab my tile, which I forgot to get prepared here. Uh, we're going to, I don't know if we're going to use this string, but the string looks like this. Not sure I'm going to use it. Wrong direction. Let me zoom you guys in a little tiny bit. Oh, I need to adjust my chair here. Just a moment. Hang on a second. Oh, much better. Turn my pillow over. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have more than one of these little guys. So I'm going to have one that goes this way and one that kind of goes this way. So I'm going to put these little circles right here where my Y's are. And I am going to do one going up this way and one kind of coming down that way. One going up this way and one kind of coming down that way. Those are going to be my shapes. So this one is going to come. and it's going to be built out this direction so something like that and something like that and something like this and something like that something like that and then Something here and something here. In that general idea, I'm going to do an extra one of these arms on this end just because I think it needs to fill that space a little more. This one's going to be filled in a similar way. I think it needs another arm. It's going to have three arms. Why not? What if, what if it had three arms instead of two?
What if? Something of that nature. Okay, now I just have two of them that are just kind of floating out there and unrelated. And I don't like that as a composition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one have a third arm and I'm gonna have it dangling behind all of this other business here. Because it just wasn't related. And maybe an extra. That's better. Now these two are intertwined and they're interest, much more interesting. I like that. Okay, and then just some like a bubbles. To kind of anchor the space in the tile, I might make one behind. Something like that. Okay, I'm good with that. Um, the sample shows some weighted ends and I think that would be nice. So I'm gonna kind of do this. Just do a little bit of waiting. Waiting just means, you know, adding a little line weight to existing lines. Make them a little bit thicker. Give some dimension, some interest to your tile. All my bubbles are gonna have a bit of line weight on one side. Yep, needs that little bit of, of line weight. See how that makes it more interesting? Just by adding just a tiny bit of extra thickness to a couple of your lines. Doesn't need to be all of them, just, just a few. Give me some line weight. Ooh, that's a little bit more than I wanted, but that's all right. My paper is a little curled. It's not laying flat, so it's it's making a weird bump there. I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me zoom out just a little bit. If your paper gets curled, um, take your hand and just kind of run it like that the other way. And that will kind of curl it back 
I don't know if you can see that little bit of curve. And if it's too much, go the other way again until it lays kind of flat. Because what you, what you don't want is it for to, to jump up and down like. See, let me do it on this one. When it's when it's really curved, it bounces when you draw. See, this one's got quite the curve to it, and it bounces when you draw, and that's when you get issues. So you want to try to just use your fingers and flatten out your piece of paper a little bit so that it stops bumping, and that way you don't end up with some unintended lines. Because I was starting to get those because it was a little, a little bumpy. That sometimes happens. Well, depends on like these tiles I have stored standing up um, in my little box, and sometimes I'll drop a pen or something in that box and it'll distort them. And I don't notice until I'm starting to draw. Um, I want line weight here. I'm trying to make the bubbles all going the same direction with my line weight. So they're all on the same side. Otherwise one bubble looks like it's upside down. Which I don't want. Okay, so now I can do some weights on this side. And one of the other ways you can change weight, line weight is to just use a different size pen while you're drawing. Um, but sometimes that's not something that you can do because you don't know that's what you want until you've already drawn the other line. And sometimes your line weights end up being thicker than you want them to be, or you originally intended them to be, because, you know, in order to make them nice and smooth, you end up having to go over them a couple of times because you had an unintended happening. It's all right. There. See how that just that little bit of extra darkening has just really livened up the tile. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to erase my guide marks. I'm going to sign my name in here. This one is called what? I have forgotten already. What is this called? This one's called Shanzi. S H A N Z Y. String number 40, get rid of all my little guidelines, my string, do a little shading, and then we will be done for the week. Can't believe the week's over already. Can you? Seems like we just had 4th of July. 4th of July being on a Tuesday just really threw my week out of whack because it felt like a Sunday. My husband and I were both home, which usually only happens on Sunday. So it felt like a Sunday. So it feels like the end of the week just like got here too fast. You know what 4th of July means, right? It means the year is half over. Oh my God, I can't believe the year's half over.
Okay, let's see what that does. Find my blending stump here. Oh, I got a little carried away there. Oh, you guys didn't see that at all. How, how did I get so far off? Oh, I got way too north, far north. Okay. I've been better at keeping, keeping you guys in frame, but somehow I just wandered completely off the page. Sorry about that. You didn't miss much. I was just putting pencil on the, on the tile so I could then use my blending stump. Give it a little bit of shading, some dimension. Make these arms look like arms, like tentacles of some sort. Something like that. All right, I'm good with that. I love these little organic tangles. Those, they're, they're always my favorite. Easy to do, super fun. Look at that. All right, so you guys have a great Sunday. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully you've had a good weekend, you're uh, getting well rested, you're having a day of rest. That's important. Um, I'm really thankful that my new manager at work is, for the most part, been giving me Sundays off. So I can kind of guarantee that I'm going to have a Sunday for a day of rest and that's really good. I need that. And um, yeah. Sundays are a fun day. Get up, go to church, go out to lunch with our friends, and then have the afternoon with my family, and that's usually a really great time. So you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, go out and do something nice for somebody today. Say kind and compassionate things to one another. You know, don't be a troll. Just, just don't. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.